Good morning, guys. <laughs> it's pretty early Saturday, and this is how my hair looks like up in the morning. And this is not typically what I do in a day, but I figured I'll just show y'all what I'm doing today. So right now, I'm gonna take out Dexter. He woke me up. Um, and asked to go outside, so that's usually how I wake up on the weekends. I really like walking Dexter in the morning and just being able to be mindful of this really nice, calm, peaceful scenery. It's nice, I am really grateful for it for sure. Before we moved to the suburbs, we lived in Miami. We lived like in Wynwood and it was really popping. And some parts of it I liked, but I always felt stressed. And I think it's because I wasn't really near nature enough where I could just kind of recenter. So yeah, and it's kind of cool today. Uh, it has been recently in South Florida, which is kind of nice. Usually it's like you get one or two days of like 60 degrees or 70 degrees and like that's it. It's just like sparingly, but I feel like it's been pretty consistent. Um, although I feel like in about an hour, I'm gonna have to take off this hoodie. I think what I'm gonna do next is give Dexter some breakfast and work out. So today, since I'm filming my life, I'm trying to be super accountable and I'm doing all of my goals that I normally want to do, which is like, I want to work out twice a day and I want to meditate. So we're gonna do that today. It's gonna happen because it's getting filmed. <laughs> um, yeah, so see you soon. So this is Dexter's breakfast and also dinner. Um, I feed him twice a day, but he has allergies to chicken, so. We're just kind of experimenting to see what else he's allergic to, but he seems to be good, doing well on the like, turkey diet. You want breakfast? Good boy. Now it's time for me to put on some workout clothes and break a sweat. So I got my workout outfit on. This is from Forever 21. This is from Gymshark and then Nike. I wanted to have like a good white pair of sneakers that I could wear to work out. Anyways, I love them. I really like to use my Apple Watch when I'm working out, so it is time to dance. So now I'm gonna do Pilates by Blog Pilates. Today is thigh day, so done. <laughs> but I am doing it, cause I'm sweating for that wedding, and I just wanna be stronger. I wanna be a stronger individual. Whew, so I just finished my thigh workout with Vlogilates, kick my butt. Gonna make sure that I have some protein shake, cause that's what's really important so that you're muscles like rebuild and don't ache as much the next day. So I'm making my protein shake and these are my two absolute favorite things. I try to eat vegan at home and but I definitely eat vegetarian always. So this is Oatly which I find at Target. It's really delicious with this uh, protein powder which is all plant-based. All right, we are headed to Salty Donut and Wynwood, which is one of my favorite places and this is my outfit. I got these shoes at Steve Madden and this at Fashion Nova, and that was like Nordstrom. Yeah, let's go. So we just got back from the salty donut. We were trying to test to see if our 
donut bags were gonna fit for the donuts and they didn't so I have to message the shop to see if they do bigger sizes or just use the salty donut boxes. Yeah, the things you think about with wedding, it's just like small details that don't really matter. <laughs> But right now we're doing some photo shoots for fun. We're at the Design District, which is one of my favorite spots. Every time I'm here, I just miss like a celebrity. Um, one time I was here and Beyonce and Jay-Z were at like some place, like 20 feet away from me. I had no idea until I was on um, the Design District's Instagram. So I just got back from the design district. It was really fun. My feet are sore. That is the price you pay when you wear heels, but they're not doing that bad now. And I changed into cozier clothes. If you guys don't know, I'm a huge Dolphins fan. Um, this is Albert Wilson and Jakeen Grant. They're both out for the season, but this was such a cute little moment that when I saw this t-shirt, I was like, gotta get it. So anyways. <laughs> and then like, you know, normal jeans from Forever 21. So I actually started doing this video because one of my commenters, Queen E, gave me this idea and I was like, you know what, that's a good idea, I'm gonna try it. So I definitely listen to you guys when you give me like video ideas. Today I am gonna be going to Joann's, maybe Target too, cause I'm kinda feeling like I wanna organize our pantry slash bathroom more, but I'm gonna go over that with Mike to see if he agrees with that. But we, I did this all you need is love donut sign for our wedding that's coming up in like a month and a half. <sighs> and I like the writing that I did a lot, but the backing is too busy. So I'm just gonna go to Joann's and get like, I don't know, like half a yard worth of fabric, probably just like brown. Yeah, I have a crap ton of Etsy stuff, DIY stuff just everywhere because I guess that's just what happens when you do a lot of DIY stuff for your wedding. I have like all this like arts and crafts stuff that I need to like, I need to put it someplace because it does not belong there and it's driving my like cleanliness self insane, so. He loves to stand on this. This is kind of his way that he came up with actually that says, I'm ready to go out. Someone take him out on that walk. I don't know if you guys have this problem, but I always sometimes confuse two stores together. Like for example, I always confuse JCPenney's and Sears. I don't know why, but I do. Cause they're always on opposite ends of the mall. So, and they sell similar things. And then I also confuse Joann's and Michael's because again, it's like crafty stuff and I never use like fabrics ever. So this was the one time that I actually needed fabric for like a, the DIY project I was telling you guys about. And I didn't realize that I was at Michael's and then I was like, that's why there's no fabric here. So I had to drive all the way to Joann's, but the Joann's is right next to a Dollar Tree, which is good because I needed to get a poster board anyway for another DIY project for the wedding. So we'll get to that. I just got back from Joann's and the Dollar Tree. Man, Dollar Tree was like super, super lit. There was a ton of people um, checking out. So I got everything, I made this messier which was my goal today apparently. And um, so I did get my poster, I did get my form board, I did get my foam board. I'm honestly starving. I'm basically on the hangry level. I haven't eaten since that donut, which I feel was at like 12. So it's 5.30 now, it feels a lot later. Um, but I'm gonna make myself my taco salad. I've actually done a vegan taco recipe. So this is very similar to that recipe. Instead, I use two taco shells, not three. I crush them up and I mix it all together. And I also add guacamole and some salt and that's it. So I'm gonna go make that. All right, so we're gonna change this background with some burlap because it's rustic-y. So I'm gonna go do that right now. See y'all later. Okay, sometimes you don't know where the night is gonna take you, but it looks like I am doing a lot more DIY stuff. I got these little mini easels, which I'm gonna use for table numbers on uh, Amazon, but I really wanted them to be more rustic-y, nature-y looking, so I have this wood stain thingy that I'm just gonna paint over it. So 
I will see you guys when they're done. I'm definitely gonna have to put them in the patio to air dry um, for like eight to 24 hours because it stinks. That's how they look done. They're not like perfectly homogeneous, but I figured that's okay. It's not supposed to be perfect. I also just set up this Ikea terrarium, which is gonna be for like guest cards and stuff like that. And I think I'm gonna get a burlap thing that says cards. So pretty much most of my free time goes towards doing stuff for the wedding. And now I think I'm just gonna relax, chill, do some Duolingo on my phone. I'm really trying to learn French. I've been trying to learn French for a really long time, but I've been doing pretty well right now. I have like a solid streak going of learning French on my phone, so. You ever do a crap ton of stuff and you look at all that you accomplished in a day and you're like, yo, I need a nap because I'm there. But there's still some more I want to accomplish. Like I want to lay out a seating chart thing. I did say earlier I was going to like organize the bathroom closet and the pantry, but like that's probably gonna be tomorrow unless I get like a second wind but y'all I'm so exhausted I feel like I've been at 150 miles per hour and I still gotta do yoga I still gotta meditate and I still have to do my duolingo I got distracted on my phone I just wanted to vlog what I was feeling cuz oh. it's pretty quiet and lonely right now cuz Mike is injured and he's just been sleeping um, the pain away he's he injured his back so yeah, I'll check in with you guys in a few. So today has been a really weird day in the life day. Um, all of a sudden there was this lizard that appeared out of nowhere that I just saw on the wall. So I freaked out, I panicked, we tried to capture it, then it was hiding behind a bookshelf. And then Mike and I were trying to coax it out of the bookshelf. We sprayed like air on it. It just either it moved secretly and we didn't see it or whatever, I don't know. And then, the natural gas smoke detector goes off and I'm pretty sure there's not even natural gas in this apartment. It's just really weird. Fire department comes, everything clears out. It's just been a really weird day. I can't believe this is the day that I chose to do this. Today has been pretty crazy. So now we're gonna go do some yoga. My outfit is from Outdoor Voices. I really need to chill out, so kicked butt today. I've been up for a really long time. Burned 746 calories, walking around and all those exercises. I ended up doing some Pilates after yoga because I just kind of felt it in my system. So now I am gonna go meditate. Okay guys, that was a very, very eventful day. I definitely did not think that I was gonna see firefighters today. Kind of feels like a dream. Um, I, what do you guys think of this kind of format? I don't really know how I feel about it yet, and I don't even know if I did day in the life correctly. <laughs> do I need to do another one? I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's not a typical weekend day ever. I think that this day has inspired me to do my 30 day meditation challenge, which I'm starting today, and I will let you guys know how that is but it definitely reminded me that that's something really important to me and something that i want to carry on with me through the new year so yeah i hope you guys enjoy the video and if you like my style please subscribe if you haven't already bye